everybody, it's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again, with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. So guys, I've been getting emails all day with this situation with Dr. Umar Johnson. And people were saying that he was at a mall. Uh, This mall is called Cherry Hill. And out the mall, he had a situation with his iPhone. Now, that's true. I have an iPhone. I just bought a 13 Pro Max. And um, yeah, it even gives me problems and stuff like that. So, you know, sometimes you have to go to the iPhone store to uh, you know, check it out. Now we all know that Umar Johnson, being from Philadelphia, he is like a local superstar. Okay, and so people, when they see him, they want to take pictures. Um, they come around him and things like that. And so while he was there, obviously, where there were some brothers that were coming around him taking pictures. Okay, and this particular Caucasian lady. Um, She was there at the same place that Umar Johnson was at. And, you know, uh, you know, she was, you know, wanting to know who he was because some people were coming up there and I've had that happen to me before. You know, I've been in in, in Kampala and, uh, you know, some people will come up to me and things like that. People will ask me, who are you? And then, you know, you know, I'll tell them exactly who I am and stuff like that. Right. So what you're seeing in the background is that was that's what's going on, in my opinion. Right. Uh, people are saying that Umar Johnson is giving this white lady his phone number and things like that. I don't believe that is the case. And what I want to do is I want to read what he said on his Instagram clip, uh, on his Instagram post, and African music. Why did you dusty snow bunny loving beta males leave out the footage of me taking a pic with the brother? That would have given context to the conversation with the vendor. Uh, why did you remove the footage of me paying her for my incense? Lastly, why did you not show me walking off? After the pit with the brother, she asked who I was. I told her, then she pulled up her phone out and searched me on YouTube. The Breakfast Club videos popped up first in the feed. I simply pointed to those videos on her phone and I said, that's me. She said, wow, that is you. I promptly picked up my merchandise bag and headed to the smoothie shop where I ran into this beautiful sister hotel that I took a picture with and then owned in my car to get back to Philly before the storm hit. You Negroes can't stand the principal black man. All right. So um, now I, 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 I absolutely believe that what Dr. Umar Johnson is saying is correct. And y'all know me. I can be a Dr. Umar Johnson hater. I believe he is telling the truth. Based off of that short interaction, and she might have been a lady, um, you know, with the uh, incense there. And, you know, and he's saying, you know, that's me, right? And she's looking at him. He's saying, yeah, that's me right there, okay? It's clear to, to, to see that, you know, he was being nice. Now, I mean, <laughs> now stop the show. Now, would Umar take some stuff down from the white community? I believe that after a few shots of Hennessy, he would. But here's the problem. I believe that people think that because Umar is pro-black or pan-African, that people who are not black, he's absolutely supposed to have some kind of negative disposition towards him. Uh, him. And that's that's ridiculous. Um, and I think that's, that's foolish. The propaganda against Dr. Umar in this particular situation, I, I think it's kind of dumb because, you know, the people who don't, who may not like him may come out and say this. Oh, but he's not, he's not dealing with anybody. He's not doing anything wrong here. Okay. We, we live in America where we deal with people of other races all the time. Um, whites, Hispanics, you know, just because we're a pro-black don't mean that we hate everybody. And even if they're women, I mean, I've been living in Europe off and on for some time. I, I've never dealt with a Polish woman or European woman or a woman from Netherlands. But yeah, I mean, I'm going, you know, I've had good conversations with people. I talk to people, right? That don't, that doesn't make me less pro-black because I have conversations with people 
or I'm being cordial with people or I do business with people. It doesn't mean that. Now, Dr. Umar Johnson has a lot of flaws. This is not one of them. I think this is a little bit of a reach. Um, now, our brother does have a lot of problems, but dating white women is not none of them. I don't see, uh, you know, him in the clip, you know, um, trying to get her phone number. I, I definitely point to him. Now, he did have that little struggle laugh when he kneels all the way down. You know, that's that little player laugh. <laughs> Jeez, that like little that little laugh. Yeah, he he was you know he was trying to be. He he thinks he's a player. Umar thinks he's a player. Okay, Umar is not a player like me. I don't know why he's trying to be like that, but I just don't think that the brother was out here trying to get the white women out there. Um, I I, I mean it, it it you know he 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 is known for you know being somewhat of a ladies man, but I just don't think that. Um, I think that this is just something that people are upset about because it's him. And the thing that I can tell you also is this. When you create enemies, you're going to have these problems. All right? And this is why it's so important. And I've learned this uh, when you're going up against people that uh, are your detractors, are people who have, you know, Umar got quite quite a many uh, enemies, right? That's why you don't go after people because they have, they're going to get you. You know, Umar got a lot of enemies and we know a few of them. So when when you and then when you when you when you when you're so stuck up like I'm the number one person in Pan Africanism, I'm the number one leader. Like we understand that Umar is talented and stuff, but like people just don't like to hear that shit. And and even some of his detractors understand that he's talented. Nobody will take anything from the guy. He's brilliant. But when you are you know when you are operating in that vanity, you're giving people a lot of ammunition to you know, try to paint you in a negative perspective, uh, especially being in that kind of pro-black pan-African space. It can get a little dirty, uh, you know, just like black YouTube can get a little dirty. And you give these people ammunition to put this out there. And for people who don't like you, they're going to really run with it. And for people that don't have critical thinking skills, they're going to look at this and, and, and possibly be swayed to an opinion. Uh, so, and then obviously you're going to have people trying to play you and all kind of other stuff and things like that. Umar, I know you're not going to listen to this, but he should be worried about the conversation. He should be worried about the information and stop always talking about how he's the number one Pan-African guy. And he's the number one thought leader and the number one, like people don't want to hear all that. Let your work speak for itself. He's too big on the kind of, you know, braggadocious type of tip and all this other kind of stuff. And it's and it's getting ridiculous, right? And it and it and it and it stops him from you know future collaborations for future help. And nobody really wants to deal with a guy like that because his head is exactly too big. So when you have that sort of attitude, people are gonna come after you, all right? And they're gonna use this as an opportunity to try to knock you down. And and what I'm seeing, I don't see that. I may have seen some flirting going on, um, him being flirtatious as a man. That, you know, may be doing that inside of a woman. But I don't see anything going on here that Umar is interested in this, this particular young lady. I, I just don't get that. I don't see it. Um, and I think that, you know, for anybody who's po posting that, it's just BS. Um, in my honest opinion and from what I can see. So, guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Drunk. I appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first company at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at all time high. I'm out.